Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to see how we can uh, edit virtual machine startup and shut down settings on the ESXi host as well as in the vCenter. Okay, you can configure a virtual machine running on uh, any ESXi host to start up and shut down with the host or after a delay. You can also set the default timing and startup order for the virtual machine. This way the operating system has enough time to save the data. When the host enter into the maintenance mode or is being powered off for another reason. The virtual machine startup and shutdown setting is deactivated for all the virtual machine and you can see here. If I click on the auto start then you can see here uh, the shutdown behavior and automatic start is unset for all the virtual machine. Also we have to remember one thing that the automatic start uh, startup is not supported with the vSphere HA and that we can see here. So. Now I'm on a vCenter console. I'll go to configure and uh, so the first thing I'll go here on the ESXi then configure VM startup and shutdown and you can see here if the host is a part of vSphere HA cluster the automatic startup and shutdown of the virtual machine is disabled. So currently it is in a manual startup we can see all the virtual machine if we want to enable the setting for any particular virtual machine we have to click on the edit button. Now you can see when we click on the edit button uh, the it, it's open the new dialog box to configure that shutdown and startup right but if the HA is enabled it will not show that option. So let me go to cluster again uh, vSphere HA and let me turn on the HA. Now the HA is enabled we'll go again into that setting and we'll verify now if it is giving us the option to click on the edit button on that part okay the vSphere H agent is being configured on the ESXi host and once it is done it will not uh, enable that option Okay, action is uh, done. I'll go to ASXI host again and VM startup shutdown option. And here we can see all the virtual machine, but we cannot click on the edit button. You can see here there is a red mark on. Why? Because vSphere HA cluster is vSphere HA is enabled on this cluster. And it is already given here that if, if the cluster is part of HA, then uh, this option will not work. Okay, so again we'll go here because we want to see this option. So we'll disable the HA again. Okay, now the action has been completed. Now we'll go to ESXi host and then we'll see the option. Okay, so from the host you have to go to manage then uh, click on the system tab and then auto start. Once you click on the auto start you will again see all the virtual machine and then there is a default behavior of the start delay and the stop delay. Uh, what does that mean? So whichever the timing uh, or the seconds you have mentioned here the ESXi host will wait till that timing to perform the next action. Suppose uh, we have given the 120 seconds, right? So it will wait for two minutes to perform any action for the next virtual machine. Now suppose you start this virtual machine first, then it will wait for two minutes, then it will start this one. Then again, it will wait for two minutes and then it will start this one, okay? So uh, we can see here uh, the system default behavior is given, but it is unset, okay? Now uh, there is a enable button highlighted here. So suppose I want to enable any uh, you know auto start for any virtual machine so I can do that so uh, let me select this app 01 and let me click on the enable button okay and uh, you can see here automatic uh, start uh, like option is enabled now and it is given the one option because this machine will be start the first and then I want DB server okay 
so this is the db server that i want to start okay and you can see the order has been changed for that is a two okay so first i want to start the app server or and uh, then after that i want to start the db server okay or maybe uh, i can select this now there is a count two let me click on the start earlier and you can see here now the db will start first and then app server will start second okay so in this way you can uh, you can change the order uh, by clicking on the start earlier button okay again uh, if you uh, if you say okay hey uh, like start delay and stop delay is uh, applicable for everything but i want particular machine to be uh, you know start early or maybe uh, it should wait for three minutes four minutes before to start right because my app server is taking lots of time to start so uh, what i'll do here uh, like this is my first server right the database server so what i'll do here i'll go to app server and i'll click on the configure and uh, i know that uh, my uh, db server will take five minutes so i'll change here and i'll give 300 seconds okay and i'll click on the save okay now you can see here start delay is a 300 second for app server and for the db server it is still 120 second uh, why we have increased the timing because i want that app server to be come up first so my application server can be connected to the database server so in this way you can configure each and every virtual machine you can start or enable more virtual machine i want to start this one now the count is the three and again i want to start its database server okay uh, maybe this one you i can enable and you can see the count is four okay if i want uh, this db to be started earlier then i'll click start early and you can see now the db has been three and app server order has been changed to four so this is the way uh, you can configure auto start and auto shut down and uh, again you have to remember one thing okay so shutdown delay is the maximum timing uh, the esxi host wait for the shutdown command to complete okay and uh, the order in which uh, virtual machine are shut down is the reverse of their startup order okay now uh, uh, if i want to start this virtual machine first this is second third fourth so again uh, the shutdown order will be followed reversely right so the fourth machine will be shut down first then third then second and then first machine okay so whenever you are config, uh, configuring this option for your virtual machine you have to uh, remember this thing now uh, i guess uh, this part is done for you now we'll jump to the vcenter server and we'll see how to configure over there okay so let me uh, disable for each and every virtual machine here again so we can configure from vcenter and disable okay fine i'll go here i'll okay it is showing not responding i don't know why it is showing not responding but fine let me see if i can okay it's enabled now okay vm startup and uh, go to manual startup here uh, click on the edit button okay now i'll enable this option okay so everything will be enabled okay now it is not showing here because there is no automatic order uh, or the automatic things here so everything will be shown in a manual now which machine i want to start right uh, in a particular order so i'll select the app server okay us app 0 01 and then app 02 and then db 0 01 okay and china db 0 01 i want this machine to be started so i'll click on uh, the move to option here you can see here it is uh, highlighted now and i want that to be in a automatic okay now i move that in automatic so i'll go here and you can see here that option is now virtual machine uh, is visible here okay i'll click here and uh, sorry i'll click any one option and i can uh, give here the edit option okay 
and then I can uh, again uh, as I told right there we can uh, set the delay and set the delay set down option we can do the same here okay I had set 300 like 5 minutes so again I'll make it 120 so it is collecting this data from the ESXi as well right because here we had set 300 so it is collecting the same data here now I'll click OK and uh, here you can see uh, shutdown action right perform shutdown action so whenever the ESXi is getting shut down how the machine will be shut down right system default is there but we can select gate shutdown power off suspend and system default like whatever the action is set as a default okay so I'll select the gate shutdown because I don't want to power off the virtual machine you know that power off is means like uh, uh, pulling the cable out from the power socket and uh, it will get corrupted maybe sometimes right so gate shutdown uh, is always better option for that okay I can see here now uh, okay uh, I can see here the second machine again edit and uh, the same setting gate shutdown has been selected for that okay the third machine okay uh, use default or maybe I can specify the same gate shutdown and okay and now here on the automatic order okay uh, so suppose I want this machine to be uh, you know uh, powered on in a particular order so I have to again click on that and move to automatic order okay so if I click here uh, now you can see here the order has been automatically picked the DB will start first then app server then app server then DB server but I want this machine to be up uh, in a three order so let me see if I can do that or maybe I can just click here okay you just have to click on this three dot here and move up okay and you can see the database server has been moved up on the three order okay so the order has been uh, or maybe you can change the order by clicking on this three uh, small dot and move down or move up you can do this in this way and you can click on the OK button unable to communicate with the remote host since it is disconnected oh sorry it is again got disconnected uh, due to some reason but uh, this is the way you can uh, configure the virtual machine so let me do one thing let me go to ESX side 2 okay there are two virtual machine or maybe I can create temporarily virtual machine okay so uh, we can see the multiple virtual machine now again I go here in the edit setting okay uh, I'll enable this option manual start I want DB server to be up and application server okay app server and two DB server so I'll click here and automatic ordered I'll go here in the automatic order I want app server to be come first okay so app 001 I'll select this and move up again move up okay then DB server uh, fine then app server third number and again the DB server okay or uh, maybe uh, I can move the DB server up here both the DB server okay and you can see here and uh, if I want to uh, change the start delay or shutdown delay uh, that I can do here and shutdown action as I said uh, we can consider as a gate shutdown and click OK
okay and you can see all the four virtual machine is appearing uh, appearing here okay and this is the way we can configure the automatic uh, start and shut down of the virtual machine with the host but if the ha is enabled then uh, you cannot configure this option because that will try to you know uh, whenever the uh, uh, the esxi failure event will happen ha will start all the virtual machine to uh, to the available host so maybe that is the reason uh, this option is grayed out when the ha is enabled okay uh, then thank you for your time and if you have any query then you can put into the comment box i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video